Hey, my name is Jason Allington. I have uh, been living in Oak Park, Illinois for the last 20 years. Been married for uh, those 20 years and I have uh, three beautiful children, uh, one in college and two in high school. Um, love the town, the, the high school, OPRF is great uh, and I've had a great time living here. I'm really happy with the city. Um, the reason I'm uh, involved with NAMI and, and that I, I'm here tonight is uh, because I really struggled with depression, major depression, for most of my life. Um, right around puberty, uh, my thinking started to get uh, into a self-loathing place. Something cl clicked in my mind uh, that convinced me that I was a bad person, that I didn't deserve to live and the world would be better off without me. Uh, and this self-loathing was a just fed in my brain and became a daily part of my life. Um, I never shared it with anybody. I never talked about it. Uh, I kept it a secret for a number of reasons. Uh, and I wore a mask. When I went out in public, I would be a happy guy. I'd be Mr. Fun. I'd be, uh, you know, the nicest kid in town. Uh, I led a normal life. I did all the right things. I got good grades. I, I uh, you know, had, you know, just a normal life on the outside, but on the inside I was, uh, I was devastated. Uh, and I wasn't wise enough to ask for help. Uh, and that's something that it took, um, it took an incident. Uh, I did try to uh, take my own life uh, back in 2008 when I was 40 years old. I had a very serious suicide attempt and uh, that put me in the hospital uh, for a period of time. And that uh, experience was really embodying out. It was my, it was my rock bottom, if you will, uh, that turned me into the recovery path. And uh, actually, the doctor at the hospital I stayed at told me about NAMI, about the National Alliance of Mental Illness, and gave me some information about the drop-in center in Oak Park, which was a few blocks from my house, uh, waiting for me. It was uh, kind of like a little miracle sitting here waiting for me to come. And I immediately started to take advantage of NAMI. I uh, primarily took advantage of the Connections Groups, which is a, a bi-weekly get-together of people in recovery, talking about their feelings, talking about their challenges, their day-to-day -day, uh, issues they're dealing with. And we would help each other cope. And that really saved my life. That, with medicine and therapy, uh, really got me through the hardest part of recovery on the front end. Since that time, I've become very involved with the organization. I've been on the board of directors for a number of years. Uh, I've been uh, involved in a lot of the fundraisers. And for the last two uh, fundraisers, I have done stand-up comedy. In fact, this will be the second time. What you're about to see is the second time I've done stand-up comedy uh, in the last 10 years. Uh, so I hope, uh, I hope you enjoy the show. Pressure, huh? I, I did not know there was going to be an acrobatics portion of the evening, so uh, slapstick should be part of the night. I don't know. I didn't anticipate it. Uh, I'm Jason Ellington. Thank you for uh, for coming. Are we having fun yet? Did you get something to eat? And uh, please feel free to do, uh, continue drinking. Uh, we understand that people that drink more buy more. Uh, from the auction, so that's good. Uh, I gotta say, and this is, I, I love that I can't see anybody, so that kicks the pressure off. I, uh, it's not easy to make uh, comedy out of mental illness. Uh, it's a little bit like divorce, right? Uh, you're gonna lose at least half the house, right? Uh, but um, I am, and just introduction, I'm a 51 year old, married father of three, uh, with uh, a home in Oak Park and a substantial amount of credit card debt. Um, but I identify as a 28-year-old ex-Marine, billionaire with uh, a six-pack and a beach house in Maui. So deal with that, all right? Now, uh, I've got my cheat sheet here. Um, Yesterday, my uh, son came home from school. My son Luke is here tonight as well. I'm super proud of him. He's uh, being the social uh, media coordinator here. But he, uh, he came home from school yesterday and said, Dad, I was in my careers class and they told me something really cool. I said, oh, great. Well, what, what are your careers? I'm, he's a senior, so I'm like, my ears are perking up, right? He's thinking about a career. And, uh, and he says, teacher said, 
If you do something you love, you'll never work a day in your life. And I thought, that's really wise. And then he went upstairs and played Grand Theft Auto for six hours in his bedroom. It's something he loves. And I'm pretty sure he'll never work a day in his life. Um, yeah, my wife is here as well, Jennifer, sitting back there supporting me. I'm very happy to have her here, backing me up. She's been with me for the long haul. And, and don't applaud. We've been married for 20 years, but don't applaud. That's, that's just inertia. Um, uh, we're pretty sure now that, uh, oh, yeah, we're pretty sure now that, um, that mental health, mental illness is, uh, is genetic. There's a genetic component to it, right? It's, it's inherited, right? So thanks, Dad. And sorry, kids. Uh, sorry to hear about that. But because it's genetic, I thought it would make sense to get my genes tested to see what else I have to look forward to, right? So I used 23andMe. Has anybody heard of this company, 23andMe? Unbelievable, right? They send you a box with a test tube in it, and you spit into the test tube, put it back in the box, and mail it to 23andMe. It is legal to mail spit to somebody now. Incredible. And they're happy to get it. Right? They get the box, they take it out, they do the test. That's how they make their living. This is a company that exists. If we didn't spit into test tubes, they wouldn't be in business. All right? And it just made me think when I was a kid, if I spit into a tube and mailed it to somebody, they would not like it. It would not be a cool thing to do. So it makes, I'm always thinking about, well, this, you know, technology exists now. What happens in 30 years? Like, what's it going to be okay to mail somebody in 30 years, right? And I'm picturing, like, uh, hi, Dolores? It's Jason. Hey, hi. Did you get the package I sent? It was dog poop. Yeah. 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 No problem. My pleasure. My pleasure. My pleasure. Did it blow up? That was, I can't take credit, that was Jen's idea. You know, I'm more of a steak and she adds the sizzle kind of thing to the gifts, but yeah, terrific. So where was I, 20, 23 and me. So I mailed them my spit, right? And they do their little tests on it. And we all assume this is legitimate, right? Oh, they're, I'm sure they're doing real things at 23 and me. Uh, this could be a big scam, we don't know, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing with the spit. It's all a mystery. It's like flipping on the light switch. We just understand it works. We don't know why. But it makes me think of uh, iTunes. The show of hands. Has anybody ever read their iTunes contract? Right? We trust it. We don't read it. Amazon, Google, Facebook, they change their terms and conditions every six months and we just sign the thing. It's, it's like, hey, Jason, we just updated our terms and conditions. And uh, uh, here's 73 pages of, of nonsense that you don't understand, uh, don't want to read and just want to make it go away, all right? So here's a box you can click that will make it go away. All right, terrific, great. Now uh, we'll be there on Tuesday to pick up your firstborn son. And if you could just let us know which of these three pictures is a storefront, we'll be on our way. But we trust him, right? So where was I? Uh, spit, 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 spit. So 23andMe sends back my report after they've analyzed it, right? And they're very specific about where you're from. Very to the percentage where in the world you are from. But they're wishy-washy about what's wrong with you, right? They say, like, you are likely to have this and unlikely to have that, right? So, for instance, I am 43% Northern European. I am likely to have restless leg syndrome but unlikely to have a unibrow. I'm not making this up, this is in the report, right? I am 20% Eastern European. I am unlikely to develop lupus, but likely to be sensitive to the smell of asparagus. Then it gets weird, it gets weird. I am 0.02% Senegalese, West African, right? I am likely to lose my hair early, but unlikely to have a bald spot. I don't understand it, but we just take it, you know, we take it for granted. Anyway, um, so 
it's as it is so hard to uh, to make jokes and, and, and kid about about mental illness. I thought I'd share some fun facts about mental illness. Uh, do you like fun facts? Is this uh, would this be good? All right. All right. Fun fact number one. Women are twice as likely as men to attempt suicide, but men are twice as likely as women to succeed. That's work ethic. That's what that is. That's work ethic. Right? It's the only thing in the world that men are better at than women. Uh, another one. 90% of serial killers are men. So you're not trying, ladies. You gotta pick up the game, right? Who can name two female serial killers, right? Nobody can name two of them. The only one I know of is Eileen Warnos, all right? She shot seven men, all right? And the only reason I know about her is because Charlize Theron played her in a movie called Monster, and she won an Oscar for it, all right? Now, this is not fair. John Wayne Gacy, buried seven dead kids, or no, 33 dead children under his house, and they only caught him because he ran out of room to put the bodies, right? Jeffrey, uh, Jeffrey Dahmer ate like 15 people, and uh, Ted Bundy killed like 36, you yeah? know? Where the heck is their Oscar? There's no Oscar for these guys. It's not right. She only killed seven people, and six of them deserved it, right? And they get, she gets an Oscar-winning movie. So there's just no justice. There's no justice in the world. All right. Well, I am done with my time. Um, and I want to thank you for being a very friendly audience. And as a 28-year-old ex-Marine, that means a lot to me. So thank you. And uh, just a, re uh, a reminder, we have got silent auctions uh, available. I think there's only about an hour left. So you want to get your mobile bidding going on that. And, um, the, um, and I'm gonna bring up a, a very special treat for you right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Buzz Hunter. He's gonna sing a song. He's one of the greats, former high school principal and a terrific tenor. So you are in for a huge treat. Thank you very much.